going to do today is going to be a intermediate flow pass and um, with a focus on hip opening and hip strengthening. Um, so let's get started. We can stay in a comfortable seat for the start of the class. We'll begin with the meditation. Um, so you're all very welcome. So get yourself comfortable. Take a moment to adjust your seat sitting onto the floor or onto a pillow. And you can just rest your hands onto your knees. Allow your eyes to close. And once you're comfortable with your eyes closed, just allow your attention to come into your body. So starting to feel your body. Notice your sit bones, your hips on the floor, your feet on the floor. And then begin to notice your breath in your body. Feeling your inhale and exhale. And just begin to smooth out each breath. Slowing down. And see if you can just become aware of the space around you now. You might notice some sounds around you. Just become aware of sounds. Become aware of the temperature in the room. And then become aware of your breath again moving in and out of your nostrils. Become aware of the movement of your breath in your body. So the rise and fall of your chest, of your belly. And allowing the focus on your breath to really calm you down and allow you to arrive into this moment. Starting to let go of your day. So you're aware of your surroundings. But you're also aware of this calm stillness within your body. And if your mind starts to wander during the class at all, you can just notice where it's going. So each time, just catch it and then bring your mind, bring your attention back to your body and back to your breath. So take two more deep, full breaths. And then the last breath and the last exhale Feel your body sinking down a little bit heavier to the ground, relaxing your shoulders, your jaw. And then gently blink your eyes open. Join your palms together. Namaste. So you're all very welcome and thanks again for joining me. And so as I said, an intermediate practice. So just take it at your own pace. If there's anything that feels a little bit challenging for you, just skip it, take a break or use any props that you might have at home, be it a cushion or a book to use as a block, or if you have a block, then go for that as well. So we'll begin with some warm-ups here. So staying in your comfortable seated position and just dropping your chin slowly downwards towards your chest. And just stay here for a few moments. So your chin is down, your head is hanging heavy. Feeling the weight of your head gently pulling against the back of your neck. And we'll start here to sway our chin from side to side. So like we're trying to trace our chin along our collarbones from left to right. Slowly moving. I'm just noticing here if you experience any tension or any tight sensations around your neck or your shoulders. Just noticing and becoming aware of sensation as you move and you sway from side to side. And the next time you come up towards one side, we're going to take a few full neck circles, but be really slow and with the same focus on feeling around the sensations in your neck and your shoulders. And if you come into any points of tension, pause, hold and take two deep breaths. 
with it in mind to really relax into any tension and then continue with the cycles. And again, if you find any other points of tension, hold, take two breaths, relaxing into the tension, and then continue. Maybe one more big circle on that side, just pausing at any point you need any piece of tension that you'll come across. And the next time then your chin comes downwards towards your chest centre will change direction of the circles. And again, move it really mindfully and slowly. And if it feels good, see if you can keep your eyes closed. So you can just really experience the sensations around your neck, really getting grounded into our body. And again, pausing at any tight points, really relaxing. You might notice if you come across a tight point that your shoulders start to move upwards to your ears. And this is the time where you really get to just drop them down. And again, continuing, pausing at any tight points. One more big circle. Pausing any tight points. And then when your chin meets your chest again, just allow your head to hang just like you started. Take a breath here. And then slowly peel your chin back up off of your chest. Relax here for a breath, drop your shoulders. And then take your right ear down to your right shoulder. So we're stretching through the left side of our neck and that might feel like enough. If you want to go deeper, you can reach your left fingertips down onto the ground. And walk them away as far as they go comfortably so that you feel a big stretch, maybe across your neck, it's coming go down into the shoulder and into the fingertips even. And if you're not feeling it and you want to go deeper, then lift your fingertips just a few inches up off the ground but really reach like you're trying to grab something on the floor and stretch through the side of your body. Take another breath. Deep, full breathing. Drop your arm back down. Inhale, bring your head back into the center. Slowly. And then exhale, drop your left ear down to your left shoulder. And again, either staying here or reach your right fingertips down onto the ground. Walk them away from you. And if you want to go deeper, then hover your fingertips up off the ground, but really reach through your fingertips, so extending through your right arm. Keep your shoulders down, take another deep breath. Bring your hand back, and slowly inhale, bring your head back up into the center. Take a breath here in the center. And do a gentle twist to the right. So take your right hand behind you and your left hand to your right knee and slowly twist. Look back over your right shoulder. Take a deep breath. All the way coming back into the center, opposite side. And then all the way back into the center. And then stretch your legs out. Take a forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up. A nice gentle fold, folding forwards. And round your spine. So your hands can be wherever they come naturally, no need to be forcing towards your feet. And if it feels good for your neck and your back, drop your head down and round your spine. Take another breath. And then inhale, come all the way back up. And exhale, arms all the way down. And come all the way around onto your knees. And tuck your toes underneath you. Sit down onto your heels so that your hips are just above your heels and keep all 10 toes underneath. So see if you uh, have maybe the baby toes escaping, see if you can push down into the baby toes as well. So you might need to open the heels out a little wider. And this might be really, really intense. So if you want to, you can always have your hands down on the ground for some support, otherwise sinking your weight down. Just relaxing your shoulders. So we'll take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. And exhale here, relax your shoulders. Interlace your fingers together. Stretch your palms to face upwards towards the ceiling. Inhale here. And exhale, move your body to the right side, stretching the left rib cage. Inhale, come back into the center. And exhale over to the left side. Inhale back into the center. Exhale, take your hands behind your back and we'll interlace your fingers together. Stretch your chest forwards. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And if it feels good here, lift your chin. 
A little bit of space in the back of your neck. Take a breath. Chin down first. Take your hands down on the ground. And then just point your toes back. Sit down onto your heels. Rest your hands onto your thighs. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Take a deep breath. And you're welcome to stay here. That could be a really deep stretch for the ankles. So you can stay if you'd like, or if you'd like to deepen, take your hands behind you and just lean back onto your hands and lift your knees up until you start to feel a stretch in the ankles. You don't need to go as high as me, just noticing where you feel that stretch. Remember when we were moving around our neck, when we were doing the neck circles earlier. So we're doing that same thing. We're figuring out the sensations that we feel and never pushing past any sensations, just breathing into it and taking a moment to relax areas of tension with our breath. So another breath here. And slowly come forwards. And we'll take child's pose. So you're staying in the same position in the lower body. Reach your arms forwards and drop your forehead either onto the ground or onto a block or onto a little pillow of your arms. And we'll take three deep breaths here. And see if you can breathe into the back of your rib cage, experiencing that sensation. And we'll come all the way back up, inhale. And then exhale, send your hands back. So you're coming onto all fours now. Your shoulders above your wrists, hips above your knees, and cat cow. So on your inhale, lift your tailbone, belly down, chest is open, and look forwards. Exhale, curl your tailbone, round your spine up, tuck your chin down to your chest. Inhale, tailbone up, belly down and chest open. And exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin down towards your chest and hold here, hold in this rounded cat pose. Breathing deeply. Tuck your toes underneath, stay in this cat pose, this rounded shape in the spine and then just hover your knees up off the ground. And breathe in here. Spread your fingers, push into the ground with your arms, with your hands, straighten out your arms. Maybe a little bit of a wobble on the legs, building up a little bit of strength, holding here another breath. And then exhale into downward dog, so lift your hips up, oh, stretching it into the back of your body, so pedaling your heels out. Really big spread of your hands, so spread your fingers out nice and wide. Keep your feet apart, so take a small bend into your knees. And then slowly hop yourself forward into a plank. And you may need to take a wider stance here to drop your hips. When you're in plank, open your chest and look slightly forwards. Inhale. And then exhale, push your hips slowly back up into downward dog. Move really slowly with your breath. Knees can stay bent if you like. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, downward dog. Move slow, inhale, forwards. Exhale, downward dog. Holding a downward dog now. Step your feet a little bit further in so that you can bring your heels closer to the ground. And then extend your right leg up slowly behind you. Hold in here. Bend your right knee. And then open your right hip. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Drop your right leg over to the left side of your body. Take a breath. And then look forwards and lunge your right foot forwards in between your hands. Drop your left knee down onto the ground. And we'll take a lunge. So inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, big wide opening of the hands all the way down. Take your hands down the ground. Step into downward dog. Take a breath. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Bend your knee, exhale. And then open your hip. Left hip now on top of your right. Push into your hands. And then look forwards and step your left foot slightly forwards. Drop your right knee down to the ground, point your toes back. Slow inhale, reach up towards the lunge. Exhale, big open circle with your arms all the way down. Take your hands down on the ground and then step your right foot forwards to the front of the ground, front of the mat even. Open your toes to face out and we'll sink down into a squat. And your heels can be lifted or grounded, join your palms together in front of your chest. Sink your hips and lengthen up through the crown of your head. Sink your chin down towards your chest, lengthening your neck. 
And then from here, close your eyes or look down. And see if you can notice what sensations you're feeling here in the hips. Ankles, knees, spine. Feel the sensation of your breath. Take another deep breath. And then rest your hands down. Lift your hips. Point your toes forwards again. Bend your knees deeply. Reach your arms behind your back. Hold on to either your wrist or interlace your fingers together and stretch your arms over your head. Keep your knees bent. Dangling your head down. Give you a little bend to the head if you'd like, not a yes. Shaking no. And then keep your knees deeply bent. Bend them even a little deeper as you slowly come up to standing. Reaching all the way up, straighten out the legs. Inhale. And then exhale all the way down. Take a few breaths here. Time again to focus back on your breathing and feeling into that grounding sensation, that rooting down. Becoming aware of the space around you, floor underneath you. Sorry, now it's scary. So join your feet together. Following me with your breath. Inhale, reach your arms up. Look up, exhale as you fold forwards. Inhale, half lift, open your chest. Exhale, step or jump back into plank and lower down, chaturanga, bend your elbows halfway. Then inhale, lift your chest forwards, shoulders roll back, lift your chin. Exhale, downward dog. Take five breaths, become still, close your eyes, feel your body. Slow down your breathing. Look between your hands, bend your knees, inhale. Exhale as you jump to the top of the mat. Half lift then, inhale, open your chest. Exhale as you fold forwards. Inhale as we rise all the way up, join your palms, look up, exhale, palms to your chest centre. And again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift, open chest. Exhale, step or hop back, lower down. Inhale, so lift your chest into upward dog. And exhale, to downward dog. Five breaths, this time I'll count, so long deep breaths. One. Two, eyes closed, breath strong. Three, spread your fingers. Four. Five, bend your knees, inhale, look forwards, exhale, jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, look up. Exhale, Tadasana. Last one of eight, inhale all the way up. Big breaths, exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Find stillness, close your eyes. One. Two. Three. Four, hips up nice and high, spread your fingers. Five, bend your knees, inhale, jump, exhale, half lift, inhale, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, exhale, Tadasana. Be arms down by your sides, inhale, bend your knees, sweep your fingers, Utkatasana, chair pose, tailbone under. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, switch up. Lower down. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then step your right foot forwards. Keep your left heel off the ground and come up into a crescent lunge. Slowly, your knees above your ankle hold. Look forwards or look up. Nice and strong power for the back leg, so straighten your back leg. Spread your toes on the right foot. And then slowly exhale, take your hands down on the ground. Straighten your right leg out. The heel doesn't need to meet the back of the mat here. You can stay in the same shape. And your hands can be on blocks or on books here if you'd like to settle for a little bit of space. And we'll fold forwards over our right leg. Your knee can be bent or straight. Big hamstring stretch. Take another breath. Then bend your right knee and inhale, sweep your fingers. Come all the way up into crescent lunge again. Inhaling here. And then exhale, hands down, hips back, straighten the right leg. Inhale again, lifting up, crescent lunge, bending your right knee. Oh, wobbly. And then exhale, hands down, straighten your right leg, folding over. Inhale, all the way back up, feet your right foot, keeping you steady. Exhale, slowly down, straighten the right leg. Do one more, inhale all the way up. And then exhale, take your hands down the ground, but keep your right knee bent. And from here we'll come into half moon, Ardha Chadrasana. So taking your right hand again onto something or onto the floor, and then kick up off your left leg, and slowly find the balance. Flex your left toes, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And if you fall, that's fine. If you're wobbly, that's okay. See if you can breathe into the wobbliness. Just slow, easy breathing. A gaze point downwards will help if you're really wobbly, so looking towards the floor. And if you'd like to challenge your balance, you can look up towards your left hand. Find your breath. And then really slowly, keep your left leg up. Take your left hand down on the ground. And keeping the left leg in the air, flex your left toes in, so push back into your left heel and square your hips downwards towards the floor. And then from here, this is the wobbly one, see if you can come up into warrior three. So slowly, ooh, joining your palms together in front of your chest, looking down or looking forwards, relax your neck and shoulders, take another breath. And then bend your right knee and slowly send your left leg back. And then down your dog. And we'll take a few deep breaths. One more. And then look forwards. Set your left foot forwards. Keep your right heel up off the ground. Present lunge slowly as you inhale. Holding here. Find steadiness. The muscles in your abdomen, so you're drawing your belly in. And you're also pushing down into your left foot to find your balance and steadiness. On your next exhale, hands come down. Straighten your left leg as much as you can comfortably and fold forwards. Inhale again, bend your knee, reach your arms up. Stay with your breath, exhale as you fold. Straighten your left leg. Inhale into crescent lunge, all the way up. Exhale, slowly fold, pyramid pose. Last one as you inhale, reach up. Exhale as you fold all the way down, and again, crescent lunge. So taking your left hand, not crescent lunge, but I just adjust that half moon. Left hand in front, kick your right leg up, open your hip, find your steadiness, reach your right arm up, flex your right toes, and if you're wobbly, look down. Don't forget to breathe. Keep your breath smooth, easy, jaw relaxed, forehead relaxed. Just experiencing the sensation here in the hips. The wobbliness in the foot. And then again, nice and slow. Keep the right leg up. Take both hands down onto the ground. Square your hips so your right hip is pointing down. Push into your right heel. And then as slow as you can go, join your palms together in front of your chest. If you feel really good here, you can reach your arms forwards. 
Take another breath. Bend into your left knee. Take your right leg back and step back into downward dog. Take a few deep breaths. And again, take one more little flow from here. So inhale, stretch your right leg up. Bend your right knee, step it square ribs. Drop your left heel down this time, come into warrior one. Inhale. Exhale into warrior two. Take your left hand down into reverse warrior. Inhale, look up. Exhale into side angle pose, but your hand will come down into the inside edge of your right leg, left arm up and over your ear. And then look down, take both hands down on the ground into the inside edge of the right foot again. Keep your left knee up off the ground as you lift your chest forward for lizard pose. Relax your shoulders down, lengthen your neck. One more breath. And downward dog. Stretch your left leg up, inhale. Then bend your knee, exhale, step forwards into warrior one, right heel down, inhale all the way. Exhale as you open out into warrior two, look over your left hand. Reverse warrior as you inhale. And then side angle pose with your left hand down into the inside edge of your left leg, right arm up and over your ear. And then lastly look down, both hands again into the inside of the left leg. Square your hips to the ground, keep your right knee up and lengthen and lift your chest forwards. Take another breath. Step back again, downward dog. Breathe in deeply. Look to your hands. Walk your feet slowly up behind your wrists. Feet are apart. Hold your ankles or hook your first two fingers around your big toes. Hanayashasa, inhale, lift your chest, look forwards, and then exhale, keep your knees centre straight as you fold forwards, bending your elbows. Make sure your neck isn't straining, so you're dropping your head down, looking back, or closing your eyes. Come back into the sensation of your breathing, to so feel your breathing. Breathing into the back of your body, that big stretch all the way along the back line of your body. And inhale, half lift, so straighten your arms again, lift your chest. And exhale into Padahastasana, so dropping your hands underneath your feet, your knees can be as bent as you need, and folding forwards. Lift your shoulders away from your neck. Feel your deep breaths. One more. And then looking forward, straighten your arms, inhale, hands on your hips, and then come all the way up to standing, slowly. Reach your arms down to your sides, connect back with your breath, connect with your feet, feeling your feet on the floor. And Trikonasana, opening your eyes. Then stretch your left leg or your right leg back even, right toes out and your left foot slightly in. Reach your arms up, inhale and exhale, reach over your right side. Right hand resting, left arm up and over, wobbly. And then if you'd like to deepen, my favourite version of this is to reach your top arm up and over your ear with your palm facing down, big side stretch. And if you need to reach through your fingertips, tuck your tailbone down, squeeze your bum, open your chest. And then just turn your gaze down to the right foot. And slowly drop your hands down onto the ground. Step your left foot in so that you can square your hips to the back of the mat so your hips are square. And either rest your left hand on your right ankle or your left hand can come to the outside edge of your right foot for Pravarishtra Ganasana. Right hand on your waist, open your chest to the right. That lovely view. And you can reach your arm up towards the ceiling if you like, if that feels good on your shoulder. Again, just connecting in with what feels good for your body. Can you breathe here deeply? And then look down, slowly untwist. Inhale, open up your chest again. And exhale and switch. 
Into Trikonasana on the left side. So left toes out, right foot in, inhale up. Exhale, folding over your left side. And then from here, reach your right arm up and over your ear if you'd like. That feels good. Draw your tailbone down, squeeze your bum, draw your belly in. Breathing deep, reach through your right fingertips. And then look down, slowly reach your right hand down on the ground. Step your right foot in, again square your hips. Take your right hand onto your left ankle or outside edge of your left foot, your choice. Draw your left hip back so you're squaring off your pelvis. Open your chest out to the left, hand on your waist or hand to the ceiling. Feel your feet again, your feet or your foundation, so really push down into them to get steady. Relax your jaw. Deep breaths. Let it look down. Slowly dropping your chest, opening your arms up to the side now. Inhale. And then exhale, step forward, start your palms. Thumb resting against your chest, chin down, take a breath. And then arms down sides. And again, step your right foot back, turn your right toes out. And just like we did a while ago, bend into your right knee. This time, take your hand down into the inside edge of your right foot. And you can have it on a block again or something underneath the hand or beyond your fist. Send your left arm up and over your ear with your palm facing down. And see if you can lean your right arm into the inside edge of the right knee. So you're getting more of a hip opening sensation here to the groin. If you want to go further, you can come into a bind, reaching your right arm around underneath your right leg and left arm comes around and reaches behind you. Hold on to your hands or a belt if you have one. And then look down and we're going to transition here into a little squat. So keeping on this angle of this side, we're going to come up onto the ball of our left foot or heel of our left foot and sink your hips down. And you may need here to lift your right heel up off the ground and slightly change your stance. And we're going to end up in this kind of half squat position with our left leg straight and our right knee bent. And your heel can be up or it can be down. If you're wobbly here, which a lot of people will be, take your hands on the floor and just get some steadiness. And if you feel good here, you can join your palms together and lengthen and lift up through the crown of your head. So really reaching tall through your spine. Flexing through your left toes to deepen the stretch across the hip. And then we are going to pivot to the opposite side. So take your hands down and we're going to straighten out our right leg as you bend into your left knee. So same pose on this side. Flex your right toes. Your left heel can be either lifted or grounded, whatever feels best to you. See what happens. Hands resting down or palms joined together and breathe. See what you can feel here. And noticing if the sensations are over too much, Yoga's not about pushing or forcing. It's about just experiencing sensations in your body so you can really be with yourself, with your body. And then slowly take your hands down. And we're going to transition here into that side angle pose again. So point your left toes fully out. Take your left hand down into the inside edge of your left leg. Straighten your right leg out and reach your top arm up and over your ears. Your right arm comes up and over. Breathing here, pushing gently into the inside of the left, the left leg. One more breath. And then exhale slowly, hands down. And then we'll step forwards into a squat from here, the top of the mat. Right foot forwards, sink your hips down towards the ground. Again, your heels can lift or ground. Hands can be on the floor or hands in front of your chest. Breathing deep. Connecting with that feeling of lengthening your spine again. Last breath. And then hands down. And we'll come down into a seat whenever it feels good. And we'll take a fold. So either sit on a block or a pillow or flesh your hips to the side if you're on the floor and we'll reach up. Inhale. Exhale, fold on your legs. Hold down to your legs, ankles, or hook your first two fingers around your big toes, creating a loop of energy. Inhale and half lift, straighten your arms, lift your chest. And keep that same sensation of open chest as you fold forwards. So your chest is still lifting, look to your feet, or close your eyes. 
as deep and as smooth as you can with your breath. Notice if your shoulders are really squeezed to your ears, can you relax them and bring them down away from your neck? Inhale, all the way back up again. Exhale, arms down. Take your hands behind you for, for a Kurvat Nasana. So your shoulders and wrists are in line. Point your toes forwards. Squeeze your bum as you lift your hips. Point your toes down towards the ground and look to the ceiling. Try not to drop your head back. Keep looking up. Keep breathing. Feeding your body, feeling that strength in the body. Heat building up. Maybe they'll wobble. Take another breath. And then exhale all the way down. And then just flush your hips out to the side. So I'm going to turn towards you. I feel like it's a little bit nicer to have some cushioning under your heels for this. So just turn any way you like. And we'll sit into Upper Vista Kanasana. So we're going to have our legs wide. And again, you can sit on something that feels quite nice to tilt your pelvis forwards to have more space. Otherwise, you can do that same fleshing of the hips. So you're sitting right down onto your sit bones. Your knees can be bent or straight. Flex your toes. Sit up really tall and really relax into your shoulders and just notice what this feels like. And this might be quite a strong sensation, so if it is, stay there. If you want to deepen, lean your chest forwards. Notice what happens with your chest. See if you start to round, see if you can keep your chest coming forward the most. Really flex your feet, so push your heels away from you. And then once you feel a good stretch, reach your hands in front of you. Keep your chest lifting forward to lengthening and creating space. And if it feels really good, you can drop your forearms down. If you're there and you're quite flexible already, you're welcome to drop your head down, but make sure you're not just pushing your head down just for the sake of it. You're coming into a posture just to feel what the sensations feel like and stopping before you get into any points of pain where you feel like you're really forcing or you're losing your breath. Most important part is your breathing and staying connected to your body. Going as deep as feels good for you. And we'll have three more breaths here, wherever you are. side movement here so take your right hand down your right leg and slide it down as far as it goes and then extend your left arm up and over your ear keeping the toes flexed relax your neck and shoulders and then inhale all the way exhale left hand down your right arm up and over your ear flex your toes open your chest reach through your right fingertips and then inhale all the way and exhale, gently release that bend in your knees. Okay, and we're just coming into a, just an ordinary cross-legged position, again, sitting up on something if you like. Feel again your sit bones on the floor, make sure you're not leaning forwards, so that you're really planting down. Lengthen through the crown of your head and we'll twist gently. So take your right hand behind you, your left hand to your right knee, and then inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, twist. Look back over your right shoulder and just breathing here into your chest, feeling that restriction on your breath and your belly. Softening around muscles out of face, forehead, jaw. Breathing into the twist. And slowly unwind and twist to the opposite side to lengthen up. And then move to the left, twisting slowly, looking over your left shoulder. Noticing the space you have to breathe here into the upper chest. 
You have the restriction of twist in your belly. And twists are really good at detoxifying the body and also building up your immune system. And relieving tension in your spine, your hips, and also balancing your nervous system. Slowly unwinding back into the center. So I stay in this position. I'll just ask that we go the same side so that you don't get confused. So your right foot is behind and your left foot is in front. And we're going to bring our right shin parallel to the front of our mat so that our knee and our heel are in line. And we're going to flex our right toes. And then we're either going to stay there crossing the left shin in front and we can fold. And if you fold here and you feel the sensation in the outer hips, then you're doing the right thing. And that might be quite tight. You might be here and feel enough. If you want to go deeper, you can pick your left foot up and place it on top of your right knee or right calf. And if you're like me and your knee is quite up high, that means you're maybe a little bit tighter, so it's fine. You can still be here once it's okay in the knees. It's basically all you just want to avoid that. And you can stay here. Or you can really slowly lean forwards. And just a gentle lean and more for experiencing sensation rather than coming into a specific shape that you should be in. So just folding and seeing how that feels. Again, any tension in the knees, just come back up and choose this position instead where your legs are crossed in front of each other. And then wherever you are, I'm a little, a little bit lopsided on this, so try not to look at me too much. Just focusing on the feeling here in the outer hips. So feel it deeper in one hip over the other. Just making sure you're not feeling any sensation in the knees. You can move around a little bit if it feels good. One of the best hip openers for outer hip stretches for your foreleg or double pigeon skull sometimes. And just be here for a few more breaths. So just easing your body into it again, no, no holding in pain. Skipping this if it doesn't feel very good. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Where's your breath? So your left foot now will be behind and you can cross your right shin up front and again just fold there or sit up or you can deepen by placing your right foot now on top of your left knee or left calf. So I'm on the left calf, you can come onto the left knee if you'd like to go deeper and flex both toes so pull the toes back in towards your shin. Notice how it feels for your knees, your hips and then just play around with a little bit of movement. And you might need also, if you're bony ankles, you might need to put a cushion or maybe something rolled up underneath your ankle as well. So it can feel a little bit strong on the floor. And again, just seeing what it feels by exploring your movement. So leaning forwards or to the side, you can feel quite nice. And then once you've found a position that feels good, we're going to hold into that again. Really relaxing into it. So make sure you're in a part of this posture that feels okay for you to hold and you're not really holding your breath or tensing or gripping. So you want to really be able to relax, slow your breath down. Become aware of your body, you're aware of your breath. And take two more. back up. Walking up, leaning back, or just release your legs. Shift. And once your legs are stretched, just give the back and knees a little tap just to release any tension there from the legs. And then the ankles, just give them a roll out. And the opposite direction. Okay, and then we'll come down onto our back. So from here, lying all the way down onto the ground. Feet are on the floor, just in front of your hips. And then just rest here for a moment so your feet are under your knees. Arms by your sides. Just take a few deep breaths. Feeling your belly and your chest fill up as you breathe in and fall as you breathe out. So 
Focus on taking the next few moments to really relax your body. So feeling the weight in the back of your body sinking down. Feeling the rise and fall of your chest, your belly. And then just feel your feet on the floor. And give them a little push down into the ground and start to lift your hips up into bridge pose. So your hips come up, you can stay here with your hands flat or you can walk your shoulder blades underneath your back and interlace your fingers together. Just make sure that your knees don't open wide so your big toes are staying grounded down on the floor, push them down. Squeeze your bottom, lift your chest. And noticing what this feels like. Notice where your breath is. Two more. Release your hands. Slowly roll down your spine, feeling that massage across the spine as you roll. And once your hips are down, sway your knees from left to right. Slowly swaying. And you're welcome to that same posture again, or you can follow me to wheel pose or Uttanasana. So setting up the same feet, hip distance apart. If you're having any back pain at the moment, I'd suggest just doing the first one that we just did a minute ago instead. And if you're feeling like you want to go for this, then take your hands underneath your shoulders, point your elbows up towards the ceiling, and then really push down into your feet. Inhale here, and exhale, push your feet, lift your hips, Lift up, either onto the crown of your head or all the way up towards the ceiling, lifting up. Looking either to the ground, slightly behind you. Open your chest, squeeze your bum. Take another two breaths. When you're coming down, chin to your chest first, lower onto the back of your head, roll slowly down your spine. And then reach your arms up behind you with your palms facing up toward the ceiling. But relax so that you can bend your elbows. And if it feels good here, open your knees wide and join the soles of your feet together. And you might want to have a couple of cushions underneath your legs, so be here for a few moments. So you can have them placed underneath your thighs if you'd like for some support, if there's a lot of tightness in your spine. Make sure that your chin is slightly down so the back of your neck is lengthened. And just allow your body to be here for a moment. So we're not going to be moving for a few breaths, so just settle into the shape. Noticing how it feels. together. Plant your feet on the floor and extend your right leg out. Pick up your left knee towards your chest. Place your right hand on your left knee and we'll bring your left leg slowly across our body. And it might come just a few inches across the body or it might come all the way. It might hover or it might touch the floor. Again, we're not pushing or forcing. We're just feeling into what part of this posture feels the best. Notice if your left shoulder wants to lift up, so you can keep it grounded. That might mean you need to lift that left knee up a bit higher. Look to the ceiling or look over your left arm. Noticing if you're pushing or if you're pulling, see if you can breathe easily. Just let gravity to work for you here. Relax your shoulder. Relax your jaw, relax your forehead. And then we'll release. Inhale, slowly unwinding, untwisting. Stretch your left leg out. Bend your right knee. Bring your right arm up over your head. And then we'll bring your right knee to our chest. Left hand holds the right knee and we'll do the same on the left side. So bringing the right leg slowly across the body just as far as feels good for you. 
watching that your right shoulder doesn't go too high up off the ground. And then again, looking up or looking slightly over your right shoulder. And just dropping, relaxing, being here for a moment. Feel your breath. your knees. Just holding here for a moment. Rest your hands onto your lower belly. Feel the weight of your body. And we're going to finish with either a modified or full shoulder stand. So if you are having any neck issues at the moment, you're going to just do the first version. And if you're on your menstrual cycle as well, the first version. And it's basically really simple, just extending your legs up, keeping your knees bent. You can either hold behind your legs if you'd like, it's just creating a small inversion. And if you have a pillow or anything, you can also pop a pillow underneath your hips. Sure. And it's not necessary, you don't have to have one, but if you'd like, you can have a pillow under your hips. And then extend. Knees bent or straight. And just really relax in here. So that's your option if you'd like to just do this maybe a little bit more restorative. And then if you'd like to come into the full version of shoulders down, just make sure you're not moving your neck. So you can look at the video first and then do it for yourself if you'd like. So your chin comes down to your chest. Your knees come up towards your forehead and then take your hands onto your back. And we'll slowly extend their legs up. As we walk our hands up our spine, we're straightening it from shoulders to toes. And again, it's really calming, soothing posture for the nervous system. We've got through your circulatory system, both lymphatic and blood. We'll stay here for about 10 more breaths. And just calm your breath down. When you're coming out, bring your knees slowly downwards towards your forehead and we're going to hold here, so you can hold here if you'd like, or you can extend your legs behind you and interlace your fingers behind your back. So if your feet are hovering, that's fine, but keep your hands on your back to support you. If not, interlace your fingers. So you can straighten your legs. Halasana. Bend your knees, take your hands onto the ground, push into your hands and roll yourself down your spine slowly. And once you're almost down, take your palms and your hands face down underneath your hips so your thumbs touch together and you're going to sit onto the back of your hands. And we'll extend our legs out, sitting on our hands or our wrists, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together and puff your chest upwards. And you can hold here, looking up, or you can also slide back and drop the crown of your head lightly onto the ground. Keep pushing into your forearms and elbows. This is another really good immune boosting posture. Loads of this for now. Fish pose or maxi asana. Breathe into all that space in your chest you've created. Feel the rise and fall of your chest. One more. And then gently chin down. Release your arms. Bring both knees in towards you. Rock from side to side. And 
do one more vinyasa. So we're going to cross at our ankles and we can roll back and forwards and step back from here into a plank. Lower down on your exhale. Inhale to lift your chest and then exhale into downward facing dog. And then from here, come down into a seated position and just get yourself cozy here. So we're going to go straight from a little meditation into Shavasana. So if you want to put socks or your jumpers on, I like bet you can do that now. Resting your hands on your knees. Sinking down into your hips, relaxing through your shoulders. Relaxing around your jaw. And allow your eyes to rest fully closed. Start to bring your attention to your breastbone, so the centre of your chest, your sternum, right into the centre. Noticing any movement, you might feel your breath moving, you might feel your heart beating. If you can imagine that with your breath you're creating a little bit of space around your chest, around your heart. So as you breathe in, breathe in space. And as you breathe out, keep that space there. Release any tension. Breathing in space. Breathing out tension, keeping that spaciousness. And we'll just visualize the color green. So visualizing the color green coming into that space in your chest. And this color green is the color of your heart chakra. Healing, slowing, and just sending your awareness into your heart. So visualizing the color green as you come in, breathing in, filling that space up with a gentle green light, and then as you breathe out again, releasing any tension, any thoughts, just letting them go. Take two more of that. to your breath and feel your breath at the tip of your nose, in through your nostrils. The air that moves in is cool and the air that moves out is warm. Warmed by your body. Become aware of the space around you without opening your eyes. Any sounds, any smells, the temperature. And then become aware of the ground underneath you. Feel your body heavy and relax onto the ground. And then keep your eyes soft or fully closed as you make your way down onto the ground. Into Shavasana, so lying onto your back with your knees straight or bent. And I'll just guide you through your Shavasana here. And the video will stop, so just take as much time as you need in the Shavasana. And 10 minutes is always good if you have it. Settling yourself, finding comfort and stillness. Just begin to feel the weight of your body on the ground, heavy, relaxed. Notice if you could allow your body to be even heavier, if there's any places that you could really drop into. And bring your attention to your mouth, your jaw, part your teeth, relax your tongue. 
And give some space to your jaw and your mouth. And then attention to your belly, relaxing all the muscles around your belly. Feeling the weight of your pelvis allow it to sink. Relax all the muscles around your pelvic floor. Just feeling your body beginning to let go. And take a moment here in stillness and in silence just to connect with how your body feels right now. Any sensation, any change in your body. Full deep breath in and out through your mouth. Full deep breath in, out through your mouth, relaxing your body as you exhale. Full deep breath in, relaxing as you exhale, out through your mouth. And just dropping here and letting go of any control over your breathing. few minutes you've nowhere you need to be but here so really allow yourself to be here enjoying the space to be still and to be silent keeping your mind be focused on your breathing, natural breath, and staying here as long as you like, as long as you need.